Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. First of all, I just wanted to say a huge hello and welcome. I've had a few new subscribers lately, so welcome to my channel. I really hope you enjoy this video. So today's video is going to be a stocking filler ideas for kids under £10. Now I know lots of people do things differently in terms of presents and stockings. Uh, we tend to have the main big items from us and then we just get little bits for their stockings. The main reason we do that is because now they're both at school, I would really hate for them to go to school and say, oh I had a games console in my stocking for example or a new phone in my stocking and then maybe for another child to have only got a colouring book and some pens and I would hate for that other child just to feel like maybe they haven't been as good this year and that's why Santa didn't get them as nice a present. So that's why we just stick to a £10 budget for stockings just for little things and that's just the way we like to do it. I know everybody is different and they all do things differently. There's obviously no right or wrong, it's just what suits you. So everything we've bought is up to £10. I have a boy who is seven and a little girl who is five. So everything I've bought is for those kind of age ranges. What I'm going to do is kind of show you them both together. I was going to do boys and girls, but a few of the things are very similar or they're just kind of different variations of the same thing. So it's probably easier just to kind of show you all together. So the first thing we've bought are these really cute bubble bars. I've got a little candy cane and this will be for my daughter and then a little elf's foot for my son. We got these from Lush and they were £3.95 each and they are the bubble sticks so you hold them under the tap and it will create bubbles in the bath so they're reusable you can use them more than once and I just thought those were really cute and they had a few different Christmas theme bath bombs and things like that so definitely worth checking out Lush. The next thing we've got again it's similar we've got them both a hot water bottle each so we've got the unicorn and the panda um, these are both from Primark and they were six pounds each and again they had a few different types of these they're nice and soft and fluffy and the back opens up with a hot water bottle inside so I thought those were both quite cute next for my daughter is this stretchy unicorn so it's a bit like the um, stretch Armstrong you can get where you stretch his arms and legs. Um, we got this from Argos, it was actually in their clearance section and that was £7.50. Another thing just for my daughter is one of these twisty pets. Um, we got this from Tesco, they had them reduced to £2.50. I think that was from £5, they were half price. And you get all different kind of pets. We got the unicorn one and it turns into a little bracelet that they can wear. So I thought that was quite cute. Again, something we've got for both of them is this pack of Sentos pens and pencils. So you've got pens at the top and then the pencils and you get some stickers in there as well. I'll just show you the back. That's what you get inside. And we actually got really lucky with these. They were a yellow sticker item at Tesco. So I think they were meant to be around five pounds, but we actually got them for a pound each. That was just lucky. I don't know if every Tesco would have had them. I also managed to pick up another yellow sticker item in Tesco, um, this little Lego set, Ninjago Lego set, and this was reduced to £2.63. Okay, the next thing we've got are these little Aquabead sets. We got these from Amazon. I think the pastel one um, was 4 99 and then the animal one was 5 99 my two love aqua beads, especially my son. My daughter finds them a bit fiddly, so gets bored quite quickly, but my son really loves them. He's really into them. We Google ideas quite a lot of things to make, but I thought these were just quite nice refill packs for their stockings. We've also picked them up both a book each. So we've got Stickman and Superworm, and they're both the Julia Donaldson books. So we got both of these from Amazon. They had a deal on, I think it was two for seven pounds at the time. So we got these both for seven pounds. And I really don't think you can go wrong getting a Julia Donaldson book for kids. They're just so lovely. The pictures are really lovely, lovely stories. She does things like the Gruffalo, Zog, Room on the Broom, which are all great. And they do a little mini series on TV as well, which my kids love watching. I think they're currently on BBC iPlayer as well, but they usually play them over Christmas as well. So they love watching those. Um, so yeah, I know they're going to love those books. I've also picked up this Glitter Slime Bath for my son. And this we picked up in Smith's for £3.50. It is a glittery one, so 
you may be inclined to think it's more for girls, but I really don't think it matters too much. Slime is slime. Okay, and again, from Smith's, we just picked up these little mushrooms. We got a Toy Story one for my son and then a Frozen one for my daughter. And these were both 2 99 each and you just get a little squidgy figure inside and they love opening little things like this. I think it's just the surprise element of it. They just love it. So for 2 99 I didn't think those were too bad. Okay, and for my son, I picked up a Treasure X Alien Slime Egg. So I could see you squeeze out the alien character inside and there's lots of slime as well inside. So you can't go wrong with a bit of slime. And I got this from Sainsbury's and that was five pounds. And he's had some of the Treasure X toys before and he really enjoys opening those. So I think he's gonna like that one. I also got them both an annual from Smith's um, and these were 3 99 each. So I got my daughter the Disney Princess annual and then my son the Pokemon one. I'll just have a little flick through. So it's just got lots of kind of activities to do and colouring and stories, games, just something to keep them busy and to work through. And I'll just show you my daughters. Again, Smith's had loads of different types of these. I know they had an LOL one. Um, I think they had a Fortnite one, all sorts of different things. So it's definitely worth having a look. So next I got for my daughter these little LOL surprise Lils. So I got a pack of two and these were actually in the Argos clearance for £3.49. I also picked up these little stick on nails for my daughter and these were just a pound from Primark. Just little cat designs on them. Again they had a few different types of these and you get 24 stick on nails in there. So next I picked up for my son this Harry Potter case and it's actually got some Harry Potter trump cards inside. And I managed to get this in Argos. Again, it was in the clearance section for £3.75. I'll just show you on the label so you get the cards inside as well. And he's just reaching that age now where he's getting really into Harry Potter. So he'll definitely like those. We've also got my son one of these little Disney cars mini races. If you've seen my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video, you will have seen that we've bought him the mini cars transporter. So we've just bought a little car to go and he's stock in for it. And that was three pounds from Tesco. We've also got my daughter a little unicorn lip gloss and this was from H&M and that was 1.99. Okay, the next thing we've got them both are these Frozen 2 dolls. So we've got Elsa for my daughter and then Kristoff for my son. Kristoff I got from the Disney store for, I think it was just over 10 pounds. Uh, when they were having, they had a deal recently where you get 24% off. So he came to just over £10 and I got Elsa from the Sainsbury's toy sale and I think she was about £9. So my two really love Frozen 2, it's one of their favourite movies. The reason we've gone for Kristoff and Elsa is because my daughter always asks my son to play Barbies with her and then he always complains that he doesn't want to play a girl and he wants a boy to play with. So it causes all sorts of arguments. So we thought this way they might actually be able to play a nice game together and he can have Kristoff and she can have Elsa and hopefully they'll play nicely. Fingers crossed. Okay, so moving on to the last couple of things now. The last thing for my daughter is this Hatchimal Pixies egg. You can get the little mini Hatchimal eggs. This one's a bit bigger. It's got a little pixie character inside and you just warm up the heart for the egg to crack open and then you get a little figure inside. And we got this from Argos. Again, it was in their clearance section and it was £3.75. And I think anything with kind of a surprise element to it, my kids really seem to love. So I know she's going to enjoy finding out which pixie she has inside there. Okay, and then moving on to the last thing from my son is this double game. Um, I've seen quite a few people posting about this on Instagram on their stories and saying it's um, a really good game for kids. We haven't played it before, so I don't know what it's like, but I thought we would get it and give it a try. We got it from Amazon and it was only eight pounds on Amazon. So hopefully that will be good fun and something to do as a family together. So that is everything we've got our kids for their stockings this year. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I would also love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Christmas and I'll see you all again soon.